Hey folks, thanks for joining me. I'm Mario. This is Rough Journeys. Today we're taking a back seat from working on the box truck conversion and we'll be working on Steve's horse trailer today. We're going to convert this to a cargo slash camper. So we're going to start off today. Today's project, we're going to be gutting this trailer to the bare bones. So we don't want any kind of resemblance of a horse trailer anymore. We need the front part cut out and we're going to cut the floor out. We need basically an open concept so we can see from the back of the trailer to the front of this trailer. So as you can see, Steve's taking the sawzall and he's cutting this piece of wood out. This is what separates the front to the back and pretty much this is where the head of the horse would be when the horse goes in the trailer. So he's just chopping away, chopping away with this sawzall. And we'll eventually get to seeing some results here as he chops this thing away. I feel like through the process of this, we probably spent hundreds of dollars on blades and sawzall blades and grinder blades for that matter. So as you can see, he got the front piece of wood out. So now we do have a open concept out now. So there's a frame that was holding that piece of wood in. So Steve's going to attempt here to pull this piece of wood out. Obviously, he's going to have to do a lot more cutting, a lot more hacking and bending to get this thing out. So this is not an easy task. This is a lot of work. So when you're thinking about converting a, a horse trailer into a cargo trailer or into a camper, this is a lot of work. This is a heavy duty trailer. This is not your regular cargo trailer that's built with aluminum, steel, and wood. This thing is built with a lot of steel. It's built, built here, very heavy duty to haul horses. This is built for two horses. So I believe that once this thing is finished, this will be a very solid trailer. A big thing with taking a lot of this stuff out is weight reduction. So he's going to be taking out as much as possible, as much steel as he can. That'll save on weight going down the road and it will make a better ride actually, having less steel in there. Make sure if you're at home and you decide to do any of this building that you do the right safety precautions and you wear a mask because you don't want to breathe this stuff in. It's very nasty. And you make sure you wear safety glasses, safety purse. As you can see, he's finally getting off another piece of steel. This is a lot of hard work. If it were me, I probably would have went with the cargo trailer. However, Steve wanted something that was very heavy duty. And this will haul pretty much 
whatever weight you need it to haul. As you can see, a couple cuts, he's getting this final piece off the top. These pieces are actually really light, they're thin metal. But it was just a real pain getting this off. Well, I didn't get it off, he got it off. I stood back and watched with my hands in my pockets. But that's okay. So, as you can see, the, this is the back wall when you come into the trailer. This was a lot of cutting on this back section. He was probably cutting for at least an hour. Good thing for the power of editing and we can speed this up super fast so you don't have to watch all the boring parts because he was really hacking away at this to open up the, the, the wall of the, the inside of the trailer. So when he opens this up, he's actually gonna insulate all of the inside of the walls on this trailer and insulate the ceiling. Also, if you're still watching, please smash that like and subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. It would definitely help us out. So he's got the sawzall again, and this is really like the final cuts just to get the, the little last welds that he didn't really cut with the grinder. So finally, he got the inside wall cut, and it's open, so we could actually see what's behind there, and there was a little nest back there that uh, we didn't expect to see. but. Needless to say, that little guy's not living there anymore. Just a few more cuts to finally get the piece all the way off. Now it's off. So there was a little bit of video that we did not get we didn't get the video of us actually taking this piece out in the front that piece of wood was kind of rotted so we did pull that up as you can see there's a little bit of rust in there so we're gonna end up pulling this whole floor up whole floor has got to come up and we will undercoat the whole bottom of the trailer the whole frame is going to get undercoated so you get into a project and you really don't expect to have all of these issues, but it is a project. As you can see, the front part of the trailer, it was about, I say about six inches higher than the, the other part. The, the front of the trailer was six inches higher than the, uh, the back part of the trailer. So this has to come up, the floor in the front and the floor in the back. So you will see this whole trailer is completely stripped. The floor is completely gone. So the next video we do, you will have to stay tuned. We will show you this trailer with the floor installed back in. So we're gonna go with the new floor, new wood, hopefully new wood, but we will undercoat all of this steel. The supports are still good, so we will undercoat that, spray that, and please like and subscribe and stay tuned, watch more. We're gonna have more videos coming out and the camper conversion, that's still coming. We have a lot of materials we just bought and we're gonna have videos coming out on that. We're gonna have videos coming out on this cargo trailer 
four horse trailer conversion. Hey, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.